Hello, 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 Purple Shirt Guy here, and we're going to take a look at Welcome Chapter 2 by Dexa Studios. Now, in the last uh, video that I made, of, which was of Chapter 1, I made uh, an oversight and an error. The oversight was that I didn't show you the badges that they have, which are for Chapters 1, 2, and 3, meeting the owner, and the good even ending and the bad ending. The good ending is if you choose the mother, the bad ending if you ch is if you choose Algis. Um And then... Uh, the mistake that I made was, well, I, there was actually another oversight, and I'll show you that in a minute, and then, but the mistake was to say that you have to go into solo mode in order to, uh, you can actually use uh, solo mode from the multiplayer, the lobby, I guess you could say, for the multiplayer people. For the people. So, okay, so here we are. Gosh. Uh, seven. Look right there, where Camillox Granger is. That's one player for Chapter 1. Chapter 3's one player is there. And off to the left-hand side, you can't see it right now, is Chapter uh, 2's one player mode. So you can, you don't have to go to solo. But I'm just gonna go to solo. Uh, oh, I do actually wanna go in the multiplayer because there's something else I want to show you. If you are interested in wasting your money on Roblox, the game offers you, um, now you can do this from the shop. You can get the flashlight, the lighter, and the savior, which are right in front of me. You can also get the demon, nun, and angel. And you can um, buy crosses using Robux. Now, I'm not really sure what the deal is with the crosses. I haven't seen anything for that yet, um, so I'm not, I don't exactly understand that. But it's not just these three characters, okay? And by the way, this is... Uh, these are the characters that you have available. You start with just the default. Um, but if you want other characters, there are all these here. All the way down there, on, well, almost all the way down there, and all the ones over there. And then there are the evil ones on the left-hand side, including Angel, which is Elkies, and then uh, some other ones that are good and bad on the right-hand side here. So let's go ahead and get right into chapter two, which is the shortest of the three chapters. Um, you'll have to do a maze, and there is that mo same demon in the maze. In fact, that same demon uh, appears in Chapter 3 as well. However, um, I found this maze because it shows you the map at the start of the maze. I found it very easy to get through this maze, and I only encountered, well, technically I encountered the demon twice. Once at the, uh, at the entrance of the as before I had entered that area and I saw it and it just kind of disappeared and the other time was when I was in the maze I went the wrong way and it got me but after that I just followed the right hand side of the map and I got all the way to the exit at the top so and I don't know what the teddy bears are for um, I haven't found a use for them um, and by the way, if you have epilepsy or any conditions that are triggered by flashing lights and jump scares and loud noises, you might want to reconsider this game. It's not very scary. Um, for me, it's not scary at all. Every once in a while, it gives me a little bit of goosebumps, which is kind of fun, but uh, that's it. Alright, so as usual, you get the objectives on the right-hand side there. And I'll get my teddy bear, which one lies. I'll try teddy bear number two. Let's see if they look different from each other. <gasps> How exciting. So, what's going on here? What's going on? Two days later. Oh, two days after chapter one. Okay. <laughs> Find yourself. <gasps> the demon was there and now it's gone. So basically you are continuing to be the tool of the demon. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? I don't know why all of these things are golden in color. Where am I? I should follow the candles. Yes, that's brilliant. Because that's what the demon wants you to do. That's why the demon put them there. Okay, so there's Teddy Bear 1, Teddy Bear 2. They're, they're identical, so I really don't see the point of you know, them being there. You can't go that way. There's nothing there. You have to follow. You can't go that way because there's just a wall. It's not exactly identical to the original house. Now, you can run around here turning on the lights all you want to. I did that when I played this chapter yesterday. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, it's freezing. I should turn on the fireplace. Yes, you should turn on the fireplace because then the demon will come. I don't even have a lighter yet, but yet I have a lighter. How odd. Well, okay, so you have to find each of these. Now, these symbols are spread out through the house. Some are downstairs, some are upstairs. I am searching. I am looking. I am finding. You must find what belongs to me. <clears throat> what is that supposed to mean? Duh. Hello. Now, since I didn't turn on the lights, it is a bit dark in here. But you can follow the candles, and as you're going along, you can feel free to turn on lights to make it a little bit easier for you to see what's going on. And there's the first one, and you pick it up, and wait for it. <gasps> ah, there are spirits. This symbol matches the one on the living room table. Yes, let's see what happens if I place it on the right symbol. Ding, 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 little ding. Okay, so the symbol lights up, and now you have to follow more candles over here and again if you want to turn off lights or or not turn them or sorry turn on lights and yeah so now the, the toilet is spilling blood which is really an indication that you're doing the wrong thing uh, that you're actually helping the demons instead of um, slowing them down in any possible way but you know you were dumb enough to get into this mess in the first place, so you're going to continue to screw up. And there's the second one. Now, um, technically, you should remember the order, although it's not actually very critical. But, you know, the sun, and then the comp the what looks to me like a compass, and then the what looks like a tornado, and then like an atom, and then, I don't know. But it doesn't really exactly follow along very well. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to go this way. I forgot. There is a later task that involves those signs. Ooh, and I can't move. I'm going to move anyways. Oh, ah, yes, and that's another indication that you're doing the wrong thing, that you're empowering the demon. But you do it anyways. Because you're a dunderhead. Okay. And now we do the next one. And the more you do, the more spirits appear. Isn't it just wonderful? Look at this. Okay. And by the way, this just um, explains to you the Roman numeral system. So I is one, II is two, II is three. For those of you who I have not learned the Roman numeral system, possibly because you're not from the U.S. where we are forced to learn it. I don't know why we learned the Roman numeral system. Hey, don't push me. Stop pushing me. I hate that. Um, I don't... Other than the fact that, like, for certain purposes... Ah! Jump scare. Poorly placed. Okay, so there's that one. dark. I'm scared. Help me. Okay. Lights are back on. That's good. I need light. I am afraid of the dark. Oh, I'm so scared. Yeah, Markiplier, eat your heart out. I'm a better actor than you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> Okay, 
So we've got one more to get, and guess where it is? Yes, it's also upstairs. Oh, and by the way, this stuff will not become useful until after you put the last symbol in place, and certain other things happen, certain things happen, and then you will have to look for clues that are spread out in, through the house um, to accomplish the next task, which will be your final task, pretty much. Now all the walls have these words on them, possess, shadow, belong. for the big scene. Okay, we've got all the symbols. Nothing's happening. What's going wait, 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 wait. Something's going on. Something's going on. Oh, get what back what belongs to me. There's all geese. Never. You're not going to win. Okay, so let's go find the code right around the house. And, um, let's, okay, so you're going to want to write this down. I don't know if this is going to be the same as yesterday, so let me just. Where's my notes? Let's turn it off. Did I get rid of my notes? Oh no. Okay. So, um. So, oh yeah, okay, so this should be the same thing. So, the first letter of the code you have to punch in for the door is seven. Okay. Fantastical. Well, we might as well go back up, so I'll go upstairs first. And one of them's gonna be over in this direction. And the third one will be nine. So the code does not change each time you play. It is the same code each time. Which is kind of, you know, disappointing, but whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. Where is the last? Right, there it is. Two is good. The second uh, piece of the code is going to be five. And we just have to find the last one downstairs. Where is it? I forgot where it is. Sorry, guys. Get to be my age, you forget these things too. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Let's see. Well, I know what the answer is, but I really just wanted to show you. Take up it all. Where is it? Is it over here? Oh. 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 There it is. The fourth code is four. So the the door code is seven five nine four. And all and until the developers decide to be more challenging, uh, it will always be that number, no matter how many times you play this. Seven, five, nine, four. What is going on? That should be a question mark. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I must have to use a nice uh, algorithm to do that. Okay, so we have completed the first phase of chapter two, and you're going to want to pick up as many of the lighters as it will allow you to, so that you can really come on. I don't want any teddy bears. <sighs> Freaking teddy bears. I don't know if there's a way to drop the teddy bears. Oh, goody. Drop them. Backspace for dropping. Uh, so, grab if it'll let you. Oh, come on. Seriously? There it is. Did you see that? The team just walked up. That's annoying. That's so annoying. Okay, so here's the map. You want to write that down. And if you want to make it easier on yourself, just follow the right, oh, the side of the maze. I don't care left, I don't care right. It's up to you. But just, oops, I can't see. Okay, follow the maze. Which, 
actually doesn't want to stop us. It wants us to get to the end of the maze because it's using us to do what it needs to be done. Okay, congratulations. You have made it out of the maze. Wasn't that easy? And wait, guess who's in here? Oh, it's Elkies! Oh, and I got the darn teddy bears back. Oh, fine, I'll take them out. The demon is getting stronger. His powers are overpowering mine. Yeah, whatever. Liar. I need to go. I will protect you. No, you won't. You are either the demon or you are helping the demon. Wait, Algis, please tell me. Why is this happening to me? You are the defender. Your soul is de the demon's last piece. And oh dear. It's turning upside down, so the demon is here. Scary, scary. Huggies, what is happening? You need to go. No! Ugh. Uggies, no! I don't have a head. Is that kind of weird? Oh no. Alright, so. The weird thing is, is you cannot go forward to that. You have to actually go backwards, and then you end up in this weird room with this person lying here. Where am I? This is a memory from childhood. You have to use these symbols. You have to do them in the right order. And the first one is this one. Now, if you do it wrong, So the sun was damaged by the ninja. Now this is this is normally a compass symbol, but it's a ninja symbol in this game. Who created tornadoes to destroy everything in his path? The atom. Let's see which one was the atom. Was uh, it this one? No. Everything gets put out. One. surrounded the worlds of the universe, making it a maze. Use the compass to find your destination. So which one is the... I think this must be the worlds. Don't you? And this has nothing to do with compasses. I, I don't know what they were thinking when they chose these, these symbols. I did it? Oops. Not exactly. It died? Yes, that is you. This is all in your head, Alkies. See, the demon's messing with you. Did you just call me Algiz? She is gone. That means that you are the demon right now. Which kind of tells you the truth. Because Algiz is the demon. You are the bad guy. How dare you talk to her like that? I could trust her more than anyone in this world. No, not really. She can't. Yet you are here. She brought you right into and now you're in my house. Yeah, whatever. But you're lying. They're, yeah, they're both lying. If I died in real life, then why am I still here? Give me your soul. Whatever. I'm not listening to you. Because I've already done everything you asked me to do. What more can I do? Oh dear, my eggs. Did you get scared by that? <laughs> to be continued. So as you can see, chapter two is pretty darn short at 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes. Actually. Thank you very much for watching. Let's be a kind.